Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Tatcha and I cannot wait to show you one of these beautiful events of the, the new lunch, the new liquid chocolate campus. It's a beautiful sunny day finally. It's been cold days in LA, we're getting close to the Uh, How good? Hello, Yanni. Oh, it's got your goodies in it. Oh, yeah. Why is it so dark? You like it? Yeah. Yes, you. Getting ready. Photographer ready. Yes. Excited to introduce you our new liquid silk canvas and thank you so much everyone for coming. You went before me. I, did. <laughs> I, did. I beat it. <laughs> anyway, it's it's so awesome that you guys show up on time. You guys are here. <laughs> and the one that didn't show up 
and fine, they still show up. So I'm very grateful for that. No, no jokes at all. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited to see everyone. Pretty much I have touched everyone's face over here. And if I haven't, wait. You will. <laughs> but thank you for coming. We are so excited to introduce you guys to the liquid canvas and some amazing fun little things. Yes. So and welcome. Yes, welcome. And then up next we have Nami, who's going to teach you everything about our culture and what it was inspired from. So if you guys can please welcome Nami. Nami. Yeah. Nami. Nami. Come on, Nami. So there are going to be three of us. Each of us will talk about different angle of this product that we're introducing today. Uh, which is liquid skid salt canvas. Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I will be the cultural storyteller. And uh, Jennifer next will tell you more about scientific backgrounds, more about the product detail, orient um, oriented product detail. And uh, Ria is going to talk about more how fun way to use it, oh, uh, how to <laughs> quick tips and tricks, and a lot of more fun stuff. So that's what's going to happen next uh, half an hour or so. Yeah. So let me start. So again, my sincere gratitude for all of you to come on this beautiful day in LA as well. It's always my joy to meet you all. I start to feel like I'm part of your family because I see you at every Tatcha event. So thank you again for your love and your dedication and for your time, most importantly. And uh, so Tatcha products, many of them and the stories are inspired by rituals of Kyoto. And many of you may have been to Kyoto. I know a few of you have. Um, Kyoto is a beautiful ancient city where there's a lot of tradition lives still to this in modern days, where geisha still lives just like they did 200 years ago. And uh, when they goes about in their business, this is like they carry a little bag like this, and they'll be wearing no, not like dressed like this. Of course, they'll be dressed in beautiful silk kimono, and. We talk about geisha a little bit today because this product was inspired by geisha ritual, literally. Um, um, you already know the silk canvas, uh, which is like a, a more solid um, version of primer. And that was inspired by geisha. So let me start from the beginning. So when you meet the geisha, they'll have a little bag like this. And when they come to you, um, you know, they will show you what they have inside. They will have blotting paper, of course. <laughs> and uh, they cannot leave without it. And they probably have a little bit of fan. This part has nothing to do with so canvas, but I like it because it's fun. <laughs> fun share. And they'll have a fan, probably with their name on it. Everything they have is all bespoke and with a name and engraved, personalized everything. And they probably have a little hanky like this. And actually, I want to talk a little bit about this later, so I'll save this here and maybe a little touch a mirror like this so she can put Kyoto red on her lips so those are the few that inspiration that they have given to Tatcha and but before she comes to you they do the makeup routine which is start with everything start with a clean face of course cleansed beautiful pure face but everything start with this primer and this is actual traditional primer they use. It's called Binzuke. And that was on the original inspiration of uh, Tatcha um, Soap Canvas, which you already know, probably. So I'm gonna pass this around before, um, uh, after I explain about this a little bit. You don't use a brush, but what they do, this is a very, very important part of the makeup. As you all know, primer is very important part of the makeup. So for them, that has been the truth for the many, many years as well. So what they do, they have a different grade of wax like this. And this Binzuke wax is like comes with a different grade because in summer you need something softer, in winter you need something harder. So they pick big, big, depending on the season. But the one you pick, they take a little bit, break a little bit of corner of this wax and melt them in the hand. And melt them well, so well that it softens and it kind of glides onto your skin. And once it's melted, it glides all over the skin. That's the very foundation of their iconic geisha makeup. And then they use such brush to put the white makeups all over the face. So that's the ritual. And that's the inspiration behind the soap canvas, as you know. And I'm going to pass this around so you guys can play around with the texture. Feel free to break the package. 
and Here. take a little bit. <laughs> I've never been to like a clean Christmas gift opener, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're all like, <laughs> I know, it feels like surf wax. Oh really? Yeah, I'm sorry to be a sorry to be a buffoon, but that's the closest thing I know. <laughs> I didn't even know you could put wax on your skin. <laughs> Wait. And for summer, and yeah, for yeah. a little bit more lighter. Oh, really? So that's going to put, um, um, so there's two. Thank you. There's two. Let me see you. While we're waiting, thank like you. She makes her own time. I'm actually going to do a live silk canvas. We removed the when you put it on your, can you touch it really quick before you go into it so you can feel a, a physical experience of it? You see how lightweight that is? It just really goes into the skin, which I love. You don't really have to worry about overusing it, but your skin will tell you if you're going to overuse it. My love is that it is makeup, it's skin care, the last part of your skin care, right? So when people, how many people, when they thought of primers, they kind of cringed? Yes. Anybody in here? Yeah. Have you ever worn lipstick with a primer before? Huh? Have you ever worn lipstick with a primer? I'll put it, I put it literally on my whole face. Like the original, like I literally put eyelids, lips. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I, tr I literally tried, I was like. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I'm like very proud of you. It's, I did the same thing. Yo. Crayola? I said Crayola. Oh, Crayola. <laughs> I think it's Crayola. Can we try this on our skin? I just said you can have the lipstick. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Cool. I just want to make sure you know once you pump it out, the consistency is Okay. All right, Roger Maru. What are you doing like this? <laughs> this is what I think. This is Ellie. I love You care, huh? <laughs> wow. Uh, a photo shoot de la Jelly Globe. I know. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful event. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification button, leave some comments below, and until next time.
get the goodies. Super fun. I got some goodies. We have Sue. And we're done. Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> Jolly gave us the paintings. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we got some paintings for the studio. Show me the other one too. The other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we're Tatcha lovers. Time to decorate that home and the studio. 